ain't going 50 50 with no man but a man gotta understand as long as you got me going 50 50 and i'm a mother please do not expect 100 percent woman or 100 percent submission from me i don't have time when i get off work i have to pour into my children so therefore no we might not eat a home cooked meal every day this house might not be clinked every day no i might not be able to keep up with the grocery shopping the organizing the household product shopping we may run out of toilet tissue because i had to work a 12-hour shift yesterday and i forgot to stop and get something but i got your half of the rent money though nah baby i can't suck no dick tonight i'm tired work kicked my ass then i had to make sure that i I got the kids situated, got them for bed, got them ready for school the next day. Now it's time for me to go to bed because I got to get up in the morning to go work again because you need half of the bill money. Please do not expect me to be a 100% woman if you got me being 50% man, Sugarfoot. I ain't got no problem with it, but uh, you might. Now, I understand every woman's different. Everybody's relationship is different. So remember, this is just my opinion. I'm not shoving it down your throat. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to listen to me. You can scroll. You can block me. But I'm just putting my two cents in on this because you guys tag me in these videos and you guys send me all this crap. So here we go. Now, the one thing that I agree the most with that I feel like a lot of people don't understand is when you men tell women, let's go 50-50, that means you have to do half of everything. You both pay the rent. You both cook meals together. You both take out the trash. You both clean in the house. You both do your part. That's what 50-50 is. It's equality. So if you're with a woman that you agree to 50-50 with and you're not helping her with anything, that's a no-go. Also, you being a woman, you're not helping the man with the bills, that's a no-go. You signed it for 50-50, so you better ride that stuff out, baby. Now, if you're in a traditional relationship where a man's paying for everything, you're cooking and cleaning. I don't want to hear, oh, he has to help with this, he has to help with this. That's not, the, that's not how it goes. Traditional means you cook, you clean, you do everything in the household while the man works and provides. Because a man who's working and providing, he's not asking you for a cut of the money. He's not asking you for a sliver of the rent. So why do, why do you women go out of your way to go, oh, you know, you have to do this and you have to do that. That's not what you signed up for. So I suggest everybody, before they get into relationships, you better talk this out so that way you don't have issues down the line. Fine. The only issue I have with that she said about this whole thing was I'm not going to give you my full submission. That's something I don't do. If I'm in a 50 50 relationship or I'm in a traditional relationship, I don't care what it is. I'm still going to give you submission because you're the man and you're still leading when it comes to 50 50. I don't really want to be the leader. I don't want to do all the stuff. I'm going to be honest with you, y'all. I don't like when I have to be making all the shots. That's not something I like. I like a man to, let's do this. Let's do that. Okay, babe, we're going to eat this today. We're going to do that. I love a man that's very stern. I came from a military family, so I like structure. I like a man to lead me. So that's why I say her and I are very different. Another thing I want to explain, is this a culture thing? Because if my grandma heard me talk the way this woman was talking, putazos. My grandma doesn't hit me, but it's just a saying in Spanish. I'm a Hispanic woman. I'm black, Mexican, and Filipino, but I was raised by Hispanics. We don't do this. We cook and clean regardless of 50-50. Y'all, I've been in a 50-50 relationship, still cooked and clean. Worked 15-hour shift, still did what I had to do and didn't bitch about it. And then I also was in a traditional relationship, did cooking and cleaning, and I definitely didn't bitch because I was home all the time. You see what I'm saying? So... I personally just feel like all of this is what you can handle and what you cannot. Some women's stress levels are high. Some women aren't. When there's women out here who complain about cooking and cleaning in this day and age, it makes me laugh because there's dishwashers, there's air fryers, there's all these things that can help you. You know what I mean? So I just feel like the way a lot of people go about things, if you guys were more helpful with one another, you guys wouldn't have relationship problems. Like, think about this. If my husband works a 16-hour shift and I see the trash is full, do you think I'm going to wait for him to come home to go... Go ahead and fix the trap. No, I'm just going to take the trash out because he had a hard day. Same thing with you men. Your wife has been having the baby on her titty all day long. She's been slaving around the house, hot, whatever. When you come home and you see she's stressed and the kids are screaming and yelling, you wouldn't think to, hey, you know what? Let me help her for a second unwind. If you don't naturally want to help your partner when you see them in stressful situations, I don't think you should be together. I don't think you care enough. So me personally... When women come on these apps and say the things that they do like her, it just shows me you don't have a good partner. It just shows me you've had men that lack those skills. It shows me all the men you've been around don't care that much about you. What man is going to watch you cook, clean, slave around all day long and not even help you? But you know what that tells me as well? That you women don't help these men as well. Trust me, y'all. I counsel men and women. I've noticed a pattern with me. I'm very like I overdo things because I cook, I clean. I have OCD, you guys. If you see me, I'm like psycho with that. So when I'm with guys, they usually are on the same bandwagon as me. And if you guys don't understand this, this will help you out. Get a calendar like this and set schedules for yourself. I clean on Mondays. You clean on Tuesdays. I clean on this day. And then write a little thing down. Who's cleaning the bathroom? Who's cleaning the kitchen? 
Stop arguing about things that you can make easy. I feel like this whole conversation of 50-50 traditional household chores can be easy with simple communication. Why is it like we got to argue about this? Why are we screaming over cooking meals? Why are we yelling over cleaning? You know what my mindset is? If there's dirty dishes, instead of bitching about them, I'm just going to do them. You know what I mean? Like, why do we got to make everything so damn like dramatic and we're yelling and screaming and doing all? I'm not saying she's doing that. I'm just saying in general because a lot of people do this. Like, why do you guys have to go about it this way? If you're with a person who's not pouring into you, I don't know what you're doing, baby. And again, that's why I tell men and women, you can see these traits in somebody from the jump. If you invite somebody to your house and say you're making a meal and this man's just sitting there, you can tell what kind of guy you're dealing with. Then there's men, men that are going to be like, hey, let me cook with you. Pay attention to the beginning things that they're doing. But a lot of y'all just want to hop into these things or you get in relationship with these guys and they're not doing things for you or women. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know, y'all. For me, these conversations are getting a little played out now because it's just like do what you want with your relationship, you know, do whatever works for you. But I just also feel like this. This back and forth stuff, to me and my family, we don't do that. The woman cooking clean regardless of 50-50 and traditional. I don't know, y'all. I don't, I don't really complain about cooking and cleaning or taking care of stuff. I want to be a stay-at-home mom. I want to take care of kids all day long. I want to do that. And I've done it before. Like my friend's babies. I had a friend who was really sick, you guys, where I was taking care of her baby every single day for months at a time because she was sick, like literally sick, you guys. Um, and I like it. So I don't know, y'all. Everybody's different. I just feel like if you know you have high stress levels, you can't handle a lot of things, communicate that with your partner so that your partner can help you with things. But if you act irritable, get all mad and say, I'm not going to submit to you. I'm not going to this. I'm not going to. You're just making your relationship combative and annoying. And I wouldn't want to be with a partner who acts irritable and angry towards me when you could just simply say, hey, babe, help me with the dishes. Hey, babe, help me with this. But I'm letting you ladies know something. If you're going to beg a man to help you with dishes and all this type of stuff, you better make sure that when he asks you for money or he says, hey, help me with the bill, you're not bitching and complaining either. Love y'all.